I detect a memory board within the dust. Begin your search. You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. However, the tank is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. If you're low on oxygen, you can use Kuban energy to replenish it. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid. the dust. It really is like a sea of dust in there, given how thick it is. The visibility isn't good, but try to remain calm as you go about your search. Your oxygen will decrease while you're in the dust. Always keep an eye on your oxygen gauge. One other important point. That memory board is nearby. Go secure it. I'd say you're getting the hang of this routine.
access the memory board and secure its data. There are two ways to open a container. You can spend time carefully opening it so you don't alert nearby enemies. Or you can open it quickly, though any enemies that are within earshot will hear you. In other words, you can unlock it, or you can destroy it. We'll leave that decision to you, Captain.
Please synchronize your iDroid with me here. Captain, there is one item to report. Regarding the latest recovery... Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. The body of that Charon Corps member. The one you got the damaged air tank from. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers with guns. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that all about? That is unclear. All we can say is that if people are killing each other here, that is an illogical thing to do. My point is, these incidents don't make sense. If my theory is correct... Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Continue with what you were gonna say. Getting back to the report, Captain. The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology, which enable instant transportation between two distant points. Two points? So we can use this thing to get home? Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Therefore, it can only be used for transporting matter within this world. Nevertheless, this device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before, while maintaining base camp as our base of operations. Currently, all devices are offline. To use them, you'll need to access them directly and restart their systems. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online in order to increase our area of operations. Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. To facilitate future exploration, I suggest you reactivate this one. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your iDroid to see where this is.
Thank you. 